This started. Remember how frightened you were? <laughs> She's aimless, shiftless, pointless. Be afraid now. A perfect guest does not overstay. A perfect guest stays home. Your journey must be aborted. You're stuck. Cease and desist. Unwelcome visitor, return from whence you came. Go away. There's no reason to proceed. Oh, it's only a flesh wound. <laughs> ah! oh, I hurt! Oh, let us be. No need to go further. Please, go away! You don't know your own mind. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. But now you've allowed another to succeed in my role. You'd prefer the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling Hellraiser? I don't think so. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here, but you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. The train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? Indeed, and vice versa. The train must be stopped, but there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. There is no method in this madness. Authority must be obeyed, or it must be overthrown. Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. And there are no centers in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all 